Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to another Mullet Man episode. I have made it to Colorado. Came here last night. Jared picked me up from the airport. But right now, it is 5.30 a.m. It gets super bright here super early. I'm wearing a jacket right now. It is. It feels so good here compared to Texas. It is like 67 right now. Um, and we're going to go do a little bow fishing. He's got the boat all ready. We, uh, he actually picked me up from the airport and we went straight to the lake because he had a little hiccup in um, one of his live well pumps that came out of the back of the boat. We had to fix that so we headed to the lake, made sure everything was good. Everything is good but today we're doing something super special. He's never done it before. We've talked about it since we met. There's a lake up in the mountains and it is, I believe it's one of the only lakes here that you are allowed to bow fish for pike. So there's gonna be carp and he said the trout are biting too. So we have a couple things we can go after today, but we are hoping to bow fish some pike, bring them home for dinner and do a catch clinic cook on some Colorado pike. But we will see. We are getting in the truck. We got a two hour drive up in the mountains. So uh, enjoy this pretty view of a ride and I'll see y'all when we get there. lakes I'll ever bow fish in my life. Yeah, it's a very, very beautiful lake. We are literally in the top of the mountains and this lake is just like in a crater in the mountains. Look at this. That's king. Awesome. It's in a big old canyon. Right Coming up. Oh, I see it. There she blows. Y'all can barely see it in the camera, but it's there. Just stopped off, got my fishing license and a map, and we just stopped at a little store, got some lures, and got some intel from an older gentleman that told us every spot we need to go hit. So mm -hmm. uh, we're about to put the boat in, and we're going to, he said that there's been a lot of pike up shallow in like seven foot of water. So it's gonna be a super, super deep shot. I think, but, I mean, we don't know. Maybe when it starts to get hotter, they'll rise towards the surface. I mean, he said that they are kind of on the surface right now. You'll see them, so that's yeah. good. He said they're chasing everything. So hopefully we can get a shot or two at a pike. If not, we bought some lures that he said they've been biting on. So hopefully we can bring some fish home. That's all we're hoping for. But to shoot a pike, that's not done a lot, I don't think. It's not no, just it's because it's, right I see yeah, it's I can see the clear. bottom. It's super clear too. Um, and we're supposed to have no wind till like this afternoon and no clouds till this afternoon. So we're gonna fish as much as possible till it gets cloudy. And uh, yeah, hopefully we can uh, get some pike in the boat or some rainbow trout. Cause he said there's a bunch of rainbow trout too, but we don't have a graph and he said they're in like 40 foot of water. So that's probably not gonna happen, but hopefully some pike. So they do something, so Jared is with the park ranger right now. They do something really weird here that we don't do in Texas ever, but every single lake you go to in Colorado, if you have a boat, they have to inspect it. Um, I don't know what for, I guess for zebra mussels and stuff like that that they don't want bringing into other lakes. But uh, yeah, it's pretty different. And it is just like, we are in the top of the mountains. I've been waiting for this weather for, it's 57 degrees right now. And this is like, this is like heaven to me right now. Because right now, if I was in Texas, I would be sweating my butt off just sitting in the car right here. All right, y'all are gonna have to go check out Jared's channel. Um, his link will be in the description. But uh, we just had a, the closest call of the year. We just drove two and a half hours out to this lake. I back him down, boat won't start. I get out of the truck, and I'm like, oh gosh, what's going on now? We, lit, we we took it to the lake yesterday. As soon as he picked me up at the airport, everything is fine. Lures? Yeah. Um, put the key in, didn't work. Took the key out, and it's bent in half. He tried to bend it back, and it broke. And then I tried to bend it and back. And then he tried the to bend it back way, the opposite way, and it worked. So, 
I'm not sure how many times we need got, to start this boat today, but. I could have got super mad and just been like, gosh dang it! Yeah, I know. Thank God I didn't, I mean, that was close. That would have been oh. a wasted day. But we are out here, we're about to take off and go find some feet. Freaking beautiful. All right, we just got out here. Jared's gonna grab a bow and I'm gonna see if I can't catch one on rod and reel real quick. Throwing a big Rapala. Uh, it's just like a big uh, jerk bait. See if we can get one hooked up and see if we can see any carp or something to shoot with the bows. Oh, close. All right, guys. We finally got into some carp, and we just saw a pike. So we are going to see if we can't get something in the boat. Pike. Dude. That was a pike. Guys, we're bow fishing right now, and there's a camper that just hey. lit on fire, and it like blew up. Get your phone. Out. All right, we're we're about to go. We're putting the big motor on. I don't. We don't see anybody over there. We don't know what's going on. Holy cow, dude! It is going up in flames. Oh my God, dude. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. I'm gonna put it on the big camera real quick. Where are we at? That's on the uh, busy. Nine one. Hey, put the big motor on. Trying to call 911. I can hear it from here. Yeah. Yo, That's hurry. That is crazy. It's going. Dude, 911's not working. How is it not working? Yeah, service? Yeah. Up four bars. Guys, look at this. Holy cow, it just went up in flames. Oh, dang. Dude, there's nobody over there. No. I don't see a single person. Trailers are done now. Huh? There's two trailers. Yeah. Oh, that one trailer is completely caught on fire. Yeah. They're... Dude, I don't see a single person over there. Here comes a truck. Yeah. Dude, how is 911 busy? That doesn't make sense. Yeah, just bank it. Both of the campers are completely engulfed now. Holy cow. Yeah, it's getting shallow. Put your motor up. Dude, there's nobody over there. Come on, service. I'm trying to get the CP bus. Uh, pretty shallow. You're good. Just keep it high. Go, go straight into the bank. There it is. All right, come on. Here, oh, here they come. Here they come. All right, fire trucks are coming. Okay. Oh, God, you see that oh! oh, my gosh. Dude, giant explosion. Did you hear that? Oh my gosh, my camera. Oh, oh! oh my gosh. Holy cow. My mic just flew off. Oh my gosh. Dude, it is blowing oh, up. It's still on. blowing up. Hold on. Hold on. Dude, it is blowing up. You can hear it. Those trucks aren't doing anything about it either. They're staying away. Dang, you can still hear it blowing. Yeah. It is like completely engulfed. Two campers. Both campers are gone. That, dude, we that just camper, saw them. I know that. It just started out. It looked like a little fire. Yeah, like a tiny little. Oh, they got a fire going. That truck is... That truck's trying to keep that car away from the... They probably want us to stay away from it, too. Dude. I just hope there's nobody in it. I mean, we're on the middle of absolute nowhere. Look at the mountains. This is insane. I mean... Guys, it just keeps getting bigger. There's like 10 trucks over there just sitting there... Oh my gosh, look at the black smoke. Now. ...waiting for it to come out. I mean, waiting for it to go down. I don't think there's a fire truck in this town. We are literally in the middle of nowhere. Like, nothing. I can't... I called 911 like four different times and it went to busy. 
How does that happen? I mean, I guess you can't have a more beautiful place to have a fire. <laughs> They're coming from behind coming us. From behind, yeah. Oh, there they are. Where? Hauling balls. See? Yeah, they are. They are hauling. That's not a fire truck, though. No, that's just a police officer. The right. popo. Dude, they are hauling. Look at the smoke behind their cars. Y'all probably can't see them. They're probably... Look at him, dude. He is hauling butt. He is hauling balls. Golly. On a dirt road. Good God, dude. He keeps getting faster. Yeah. Those guys in front He's of him are hauling, too. Yeah. He is hauling. He's just like... <laughs> every washboard. GoPros. He's got his body cam on his head just going like this. Well, it's just about out now. And there's probably 20 authority vehicles so we're gonna go back and bowfish because there's nothing we can do yeah hope everybody was safe but ain't nothing we can do about it oh right there there's a bunch oh right like holy cow oh you're through you're through yes dude right as i was talking get about the net God dang it. yes dude, right got a bike that was like a 20 yard shot hurry he's Yes! yes. We got a that. pike, baby! Pike. First one! Yes! Yeah! Oh my gosh. That was, dude, they're soft. That pike, went straight yeah, through straight them. Straight through them, dude. Oh my gosh. Pike in the boat. We bow fished pike, dude, in the mountains. That Two. is freaking Love cool. Said. His gills are sharp, too. Dude. God damn. How cool is that? Look at that, guys. Bow fishing pike. We gotta find more. I think that's the same one. It's gotta be. Yeah. That is freaking cool. Oh, you're right. Insane, dude. Before you drop. Just cut it. We just got our first pike. Look at this bird sitting on its nest. They are loud. So I just bow fished my first pike ever. Getting our donuts all dirty. There you go. Alright. Set. Time boy. to get Mo. You set. Let's try to get one more pike. Dude, let's try least. to get 20 more. I'm down. Come on. So there's no limit on pike, no size limit, nothing. No limit on pike, man. They somebody put them in here, they're killing the trout population, so they want them all out. That this is their spawning area for sure. Come on, here. Stand. Oh my god, dude, holy cow! You should have seen this freaking shot. Oh my gosh. Perfect right Dude, in the head. Hard shot. Look at that. Right here, oh, they're everywhere. Look at this head shot. Look at that. Wind is blowing us everywhere. This is definitely the carp spot. One. What the shit? Are you kidding me? Got him. Got him. Oh. Get him. I'm having issues. <laughs> Going on. Mountain carp. Oh, so close. Oh, dude, another there. head shot. Oh my gosh, that's a bloody one, dude. 30 yard Holy shot. Crap. Get him in. <laughs> oh, yeah. All these geese. When you shot that one, all this came up. They all came alive, huh? Geese. That is cool right there. We made it into the river and they're... Oh, right here. Right here. You got four. You got one? Oh! Oh my gosh. That was a knot. Okay, I don't know what that's like. Yeah, baby! Found it, boy! Look at this scenery! Look, right here, right here! Oh my gosh, it's all my freaking... Dude, I don't know why my reel was blocking that. Oh my gosh, look at that. Guys, I'm driving the boat and shooting. 
Oh my gosh. This altitude's got me out of breath. Can I come up? Oh yeah, yeah, come up. Dude, there's a million on the Hold on, I gotta get us straight. There's a village to the left, see him? Oh. Go! Oh. So many. Bunch right here, bunch. Oh, to the right. Dude. Come up here. See him all? Uh-huh. Hey. My bad. Hold on. Yeah. Alright guys, I switched arrows. And now we're just walking on the bank. Boat got beached. I think it's good. All right, we're gonna see if we can kill any from the bank. This is what you call Colorado bow fishing right here. Got him, stoned him. You wanna just lay him on the bank and then we'll pick him up in a minute? Yeah. Oh, he got off. Oh, got him! Yeah, baby! Look at this one, coming towards you, coming towards you. Where? Coming towards you, right here. Oh, Double! Oh, there's two right here. Double! Right here. Yep, got him! Got him, baby. Right here, right here. Got him! Got him. He's hooked, dude, he's stuck good. Holy, broke. he is stuck good. My reel is so broke, I can't even reel him in. Hold him up. Oh, he came out. God dang it. Got him. Oh. oh. It was right on his belly. Oh my gosh, you got a million on you. I know. Gosh dang it. Ow. Oh. Oh. Fly fishermen up ahead, so we don't want to mess them up. Actually, they're walking out right now. But we're gonna float down, and uh, oh god, there's a lot of carp that we still have to pull the motor up. Uh, no. Oh come on! Oh. oh god! Oh god! It's gonna break it. Oh, it's dirty guy. Right here, right here, big boy. Oh, yeah. God, how do we both? Oh, oh, we hit him. We hit him. Well, guys, we killed it. Clouds are coming in. It's getting hard to see. It's getting hard to see with these clouds. So it's two o'clock. We uh, we probably got thirty or forty carp. We could have shot a hundred if we could have shot right. If Jared wouldn't have lost thirty of them. But, uh, we are headed back. We got a two-hour drive back and about a 30-minute boat ride back. So we'll see y'all at the boat ramp. It took us long enough, but we uh, we made it. Should we move? We're going back. I don't know. Two-hour drive back. All right guys, we made it back to Old Outlaw's house and it is time to clean this pike. I think we're gonna do some smoked pike on the Traeger and make some fish dip. Um, so we're gonna clean this guy up, put it in the fridge in a brine overnight and- You know I love dip. Smoke it tomorrow. You do like dip. I do. So, I don't know if I completely remember how to clean a pike properly from when me and Jared were on our bear hunt in Canada. Um, the guys up there showed me how to do it properly where there's no bones in it. But what do you think about just filleting it out and smoking it? It's coming back. 
smoking it and then just pulling the bones out when we shred it to put it in. That. Hey, quit. So I'm just gonna fillet it. We got dogs running everywhere. Y'all probably can't hear me because it's windy, but I'm just gonna fillet this guy normal because I don't want to. Look at that meat though. I don't I know. Pike it's meat. delicious. Peter, get out of the way. I don't want to uh, mess this up and get as much meat off as possible. I've eaten so. pike twice in my life and every single time it's so good. That pike we had in Canada was delicious. Really, really good. So I'm just going down the backbone, gonna pop it through after I get past the ribs and run my knife down that backbone all the way to the tail. Just like that. And then come through these little pin bones, which they are they're really full of bones. So same on that side, and all we're left with is a little carcass. Clean this up. Take these uh, take these ribs out, and uh, all we gotta do is take the skin off. And then we'll go pop it in a brine. Show you how we do that, and then. Uh, We'll see y'all tomorrow whenever we throw it on the smoker. You want an easy way to do this too? You give yourself a doorbell, I yeah. call it. Yeah. Pop a hole in it. Yeah. I mean, that's, well, you already that's had beautiful there. meat though. Yep. That is real pretty. First bow fished pike for me, for sure. You can make some good deal. And that is it. So these are cleaned up. I'll see y'all inside and uh, throw these guys on a brine and get her going. Okay guys, the fish has been brining all night. It smells delicious. It's like a brown sugar critter glitter mix, a little beer. We got the Traeger set to 250. I'm gonna lower it. I was just getting it heated up. Um, and we're gonna set it on. It is like nine in the morning, so it'll be perfect for uh, lunch. Set this on, smoke it, uh, smoke it for a couple of hours. I don't know how long exactly it's gonna take, but and then we will uh, prepare it and uh, make it into some fish dip. So stay tuned. I'm gonna let this cook down, and then we will check on it here in a little bit and uh, have a good lunch. All right, guys, fish is done. I'm gonna try to put it in this bowl. I'm gonna try to break it apart and uh, take the bones out before we mix it with the dip. But I'm just gonna take, oh, these look perfect. Take these fillets, put them in this bowl, and uh, I'm gonna go pick out all the bones that I can. And leave that open. And then uh, we'll start making fish dip. All right, I just picked out all the bones that I could. That is the shredded pike, and we got some uh, jalapeno cream cheese. So we're gonna add that as well, and uh, maybe add a little more critter glitter to it. But that is about it. So, so I'm just gonna add this cream cheese, and mix her up. Mm -hmm. Oh, cameraman. Cameraman took over. Cameraman! Alright, let's see what... <laughs> let's see if we can get a... I should have heated up the... Dude, are those Yeezys? No. Are those Yeezys? I can't afford Yeezys. <laughs> I don't even know what Yeezys are. Yeez Yeezys. Yeezy. Yeezy. So, we ended up using all of your cream cheese. I am good with that. It's jalapeno too, so jalapeno it's going to be a little spicy. Yep. You want me to grab some critter glitter? Critter, critter glitter. Sprinkle. It's kind of hard whenever the cream cheese is still cold because it's hard to mix, but you can heat it up and I'll let, uh, you sprinkle, it in, sprinkle there. in there. That's good. That's good right there. Mm, mm. You know, I'm actually putting a little on my coffee. Just a little bit. There you go. Yeah. There we go. What the heck? He actually, he actually did put it in his coffee. Yeah. Give it a little stir. Try it out. Alright, now this is gonna be a lot better after you cool it off. Ooh, that's good. I love to uh I like it cold. 
it just kind of sticks together better. But the more you mix this, the more it's going to shred the fish and mix it with the cream cheese. So I think that's the Oops. better it'll get. It smells really good. It smells like fish dip. All right. Let's give her the old taste test. Got some Ritz crackers. Pike. I've never had pike fish dip. Mm -mm. Normally it's just like trout or something really greasy. I like trout. Come on, buddy. <laughs> All right. Bon appetit. Fish dip, pike. Oh, man. That's good fish dip. It's like a. Mmm. Wow. That's good right there. It's like a smoky sweet. That beer and the brown sugar. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, that's what it is. I taste that beer. Mmm. All right, wow. cameraman. Are you hungry? Yeah, I'll, I could eat. Ah, good, man. And the spice is perfect on the end. Mm. Yeah. Really watch out for, I mean, I, I think I picked out all the bones, but just watch out. You need an iron, dude. Yeah. I have them folded in my drawer. Look at these. Mm. God dang. Mm. Good? I had a little kick to it, but. It's uh, that cream cheese. Yeah. Yeah. It's not a cream cheese. That's a good mm. fish dip. That's, That's really good. good. I'll give that a 10 out of 10 for pike fish dip because I've never yeah, had yeah, it. Yeah, bud. So, y'all go check out uh, Jared. His link will be in the description. Uh, his video will be up today as well. So, when y'all get done I'm watching this, go check out his video. He has some different stuff on his video. So, go check him out. And uh, we still got a couple more videos to film here in Colorado. So stay tuned. Make sure y'all hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up, and remember, eat good!